I'm here right now at Rengis Market, which is one of the largest import markets in the European Union. And we're actually tracking beef from the United States, from Montana, and Washington's Palouse, and how it's sold right here. Company here, my father and my uncle created 30 years ago. Max Metzgar is the next generation of his family's import beef distribution business in Paris, France. His family's business is considered one of the most prestigious meat butchers in Paris. Selection quality, high quality. Max works at the Rengis Market, just outside of Paris. It's where all the restaurants come and purchase their product. The day starts at midnight and is wrapped up by 9 a.m. The process, the dry aging process. And this French beef distributor has built a business on American beef. If you come in my fridge and you see my brand of meat, uh, United people don't, won't be surprised, but maybe French people will be surprised. So here's one of the things I want to show you that I think is pretty interesting. So this is beef from Kansas and from the state of Washington, but the beef itself is sourced from ranches across Idaho, Washington, and Montana. It's very, very exceptional beef. Max is one of only a handful of distributors selling American beef. From Montana, Idaho, and Washington. I think it's a unique flavor. And that has to do with the relationship with Laura Messi of the Giardi company. Her company not only imports the beef, but it sells it at their French restaurants. Laura says that American beef has become similar to how we equate champagne from France. U.S. beef for us is extremely high end. Uh, the quality, the marbling, the flavor, the taste, uh, the experience really uh, is just unique. There's a lot of factors that contribute, but some of the big points, American beef is younger. And we've had to explain that and also explain to the French market in particular that this cattle was younger cattle, so less red and so on. French beef is typically five years old, whereas American beef is usually two years old. And for the most part, our beef is grain fed. It's been amazing for us Europeans to find out how scientific making meat is. Okay, so Laura and Max showed us where the beef enters the European Union, but this is the part that I think we're all interested in, eating it, right? So we're gonna go to one of Paris's most premier restaurants and see how they cook up and serve American beef. At Beef Bar, Laura is meeting with clients, educating them on the product, which is, in part, our beef. And the USDA says, this is how we make headway in the international market. These connections are really the start of a beautiful friendship over, over food. David Leishman, who's from Wyoming and works for the USDA in Paris, is tasked with helping get our American agriculture on the table. Beef is a good example where our relationship is evolving. 20 years ago, we probably wouldn't have been able to sell American beef here simply because of the hormone uh, issue. The USDA brought a case against the European Union, and it involved some serious negotiations. Now, years later, American beef is being purchased at premier restaurants in Paris. It's a way to tell our story of quality, but also of our know-how and it creates value, it creates value for the French market, for French consumers, as well as for our own producers in states like Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. And so it's, it's really food diplomacy. Okay, so I'm sitting right now in Beef Bar in Paris, and uh, we're getting the opportunity to try the beef that we saw earlier today from our region right here. So right here is a taste of home in Paris, France. So our journey through Paris continues.